वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज स्टोरी टॉप इथियोपियन सिक्योरिटी बॉडी क्लेम्स दैट अ प्लान टू असैसिनेट इथियोपियन लीडरशिप हैज बीन फॉयल्ड सम बॉडी सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर वर्किंग सीक्रेटली टू फॉर्म अ मिलिट्री विंग assassinations were planned weapons uh, were being smuggled explosives were being smuggled into the capital city and uh, the top security body has shared some names as well most of the names are from the amhara region of ethiopia now uh Joint Peace and Security Task Force is top Ethiopian security body. Ethiopian National Defence Force is part of this uh, task force. Addis Ababa Police is a member. Uh, Federal Police is one of the members. Uh, Intelligence Agency of Ethiopia and INSA, a cyber security agency of Ethiopia, are also. members of this top security body of ethiopia the uh, organization the body issued a detailed statement just a few minutes ago it has shared some pictures as well pictures of those who have been arrested in connection with a plan to assassinate top ethiopian leadership the task force claims that uh, three groups have been trying to form an organization to change the government by launching attacks on top ethiopian government leaders in four cities of ethiopia the three organizations are scholars association students body bodies and media outlets they were working in collaboration they were trying to recruit people trying to arm them and they were planning to kill top ethiopian leaders in four cities addis ababa capital city of ethiopia adama main city in oromia bahirdar seat of amhara regional government uh, and uh, fourthly uh, the fourth city is uh, fourth region is dire dewa and uh, an effort was being made to form a military wing effort was being made to mobilize students student bodies youth bodies uh, were being mobilized for the formation of a secret military wing the task force has published some pictures and names have been shared of the people who have been arrested task force claims that since it received information in advance so it was able to foil this attempt and those who were planning to assassinate top ethiopian leaders have been arrested who are the uh, perpetrators claimed by the government who have been arrested names have been shared firstly uh, dr wandesen asefa secondly assistant professor Sisse Ogayo Sisse Ogayo is uh, from Amhara Scholars Association uh thirdly professor Merego BA BN he is from United Amhara Association Dr Masereth Varko Tisfai Tisfai you watch it solomon lemne solomon lemne is from amhara youth association 
In a video a few hours ago, I reported about the arrest of Solomon Lemne. So, Amhara Scholars Association, Amhara uh, United Amhara Association, Amhara Student Bodies, Amhara Youth Association, they have been jointly planning to start an anti-government armed resistance. Government claims that uh, weapons have been smuggled recently into Addis Ababa from Bahirdar. And weapons have been captured. Weapons, explosive grenades uh, have been captured by security forces in parts of Addis Ababa. The weapons were being smuggled from Bahirdar, Amhara region of Ethiopia. And uh, state media has uh, shared some pictures, pictures of these arrested uh, persons and uh, weapons, explosives recovered from them. You can see some pictures on your screen. The pictures have been shared by uh, Peace and Security Joint Task Force. Uh, you can see pictures of uh, uh, people like uh, Professor, uh, Assistant Professor Sisse, Ogayo and others. Uh, some hand grenades can be seen. Uh, pistols uh, can be seen too. Now, uh, of course, uh, the Joint Peace and Security Task Force is accusing groups based in the Amhara region that they were trying to topple the government by assassinating top Ethiopian leaders in Addis Ababa, in Amhara region, in Oromia, in Diradewa. All these names shared by the government are the names of scholars mostly. They are from uh, they have uh, teaching background, some are activists, some are members of uh, other associations. Uh, has the government shared any evidence in terms of uh, their effort to mobilize people, to organize people? Only uh, evidence so far is that we have seen pictures of a few hand grenades, pictures of uh, a few pistols. Is this evidence uh, sufficient enough to prove that these scholars were basically scholars? They are teachers mostly. That they were planning to assassinate top Ethiopian leaders. There are very serious allegations against, uh, against these uh, scholars and teachers by the government. Uh, so far, the evidence shared uh, is not enough. Now it's up to the court to decide. Let's see what happens. Uh, will the court find the evidence satisfactory to uh, punish these individuals? Uh, we know that TPLF leaders were charged with treason, terrorism. Journalists were charged with terrorism. You saw that last year. Some were charged with terrorism. Later released. TPLF leaders released. I don't know uh, if the charges against these leaders are true or not, but uh, uh, keeping in view the track record of Ethiopian law enforcement agencies, they always file such charges. Charges of terrorism, charges of uh, uh, planning a coup, charges of uh, uh, other serious charges. They uh, submit these charges, they file these charges against those who speak against the government, who criticize the government. Uh, grave offenses are uh, attributed to those who are government's critics. And then uh, if these uh, people arrested, uh, they reconcile with the government, all charges are dropped. We have been seeing that in Ethiopia. Are all these charges uh, made up charges just to stop anti-government sentiment rising in the Amhara region of Ethiopia or was there a genuine effort underway in Amhara region to assassinate top Ethiopian leaders and topple the government? Uh, 
I am not in opposition to make final judgment. But keeping in view the track record of Ethiopian law enforcement agencies, charges seem to be exaggerated. Let's see. Uh, this is not the first time that government, uh, federal government, Addis Ababa government uh, have accused groups from the Amhara region uh, trying to enter Addis Ababa to create law and order situation uh, to instigate violence. Addis Ababa mayor, uh, Ethiopian intelligence agency, PMRB, in their speeches recently uh, said very clearly that some groups, some individuals were trying to enter Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia, to uh, fuel conflicts to topple the government. So, it's, this position is not new. But now, groups, people from the Amhara region, mainly, though the statement says people from other regions too, but arrested people shown are mainly from the Amhara region. So now federal government is saying that groups based in the Amhara region uh, are trying to topple the government. They are trying to kill top Ethiopian leaders. One plan has been foiled. There could be other groups and people operating secretly against a federal government against top Ethiopian leaders. Gulf between Amhara region, Amhara region based groups and federal government is widening. We are seeing that. No signs of any uh, constructive engagement between the two sides. We are seeing uh, new conflicts start in Ethiopia, Oromo, Amhara rivalry for dominance. And now this growing uh, disconnect and growing gulf between groups based in the Amhara region and Ethiopian federal government. Keep watching.